Hello again and now we will go over with you another part of your orientation of the policies and procedures of the Department of Nursing. What's important to get ready for um, our clinical expectations, expectations of the program, just to help you get off on the right foot. So you will have access to the Department of Nursing student handbook. This will give you the policies and procedures on attendance, how to continue to progress in the program, our policy on social media, how to keep up with your health status and health compliance that is important to participate in the nursing program, what our requirements are for CPR, our random drug testing policy, our dress code and campus safety. You will have access to this handbook and it is imperative that you familiarize yourself with all of our policies because all of our students are held accountable to abide by these policies just like you as an LPN. When you went to LPN school there were certain policies that you were required to follow and now that you're out in the workforce working in a clinical setting or where you're dealing with patients you're required to um, abide by these standards and we are also bound by the Louisiana State Board of Nursing to have standards in place for professional nursing behavior. Castle Branch is now our repository for compliance tracking of all of your health status, your flu, your immunizations, your physical, um, your CPR certification, TB testing that you're required to have every year. Um, there will be a handout posted on your Moodle page on how to get access to Castle Branch. It's a one-time fee. This is yours from now on to uh, upload your current documentation. It will send you alerts of when your CPR is due, when your flu vaccine is due. And this is how we monitor if you're compliant with your health status or not. We are able to pull a report and it will tell us if you're ready to go to clinical and if you're in compliance with all of our health information. We have a health center here on campus. It's in Coughlin Hall, the uh, building where you go for your classes. It's free of charge for students. So if you're sick or if you're needing to go have a, a flu shot or a TB test, you're welcome to go by here. You can call for an appointment. We have a nurse practitioner there and the hours are posted on the door of when they're in the office. Changes in health status, if something changes, you have to get placed on a different medication. We have to report these things. It's easier if you go ahead and report any change in health status and then we will be able to assist you if it's something that is reportable to the Louisiana State Board or not. For illness or injury, for any changes in medications if they are new or if there's a change in the dose or the frequency, especially for controlled Schedule II substances. If you are needing to take something for um, ADHD or prescription pain medications. Um, also, if you become pregnant, this needs to be reported because we have to have clearance from your physician that everything is okay and that you're cleared to uh, meet the expectations of going to clinical to be safe for you and safe for your baby. So these updates need to be submitted to whomever your course coordinator is. And this isn't just for the LPN course, these are for any of the nursing courses. Again, our health center, to give you an idea of when those hours are, Monday and Thursday, 8 to 12, and Wednesday, they're open in the afternoon. Um, you can either call for an appointment or just walk in. If you walk in, you may end up waiting for a little bit. Um, they take care of minor illnesses. Um, and sometimes, if you have something more um, 
involved, they can give you a referral of where you need to go. And it's listed here, the website of how to find them. CPR, it must be from the American Heart Association. The basic life support provider course is the one that we accept. Your instructor must be certified from American Heart. The logo from American Heart Association must be on the card. And the course offered has to be titled Basic Life Support Provider. Um, there are some others out there that some students take with Red Cross or some other uh, form, but we only support American Heart Association because this involves also uh, what's important for our healthcare providers to obtain. So it's very important that you make sure that your course is updated and make sure that your CPR card is current. If it is not, both area hospitals offer CPR courses. Some of you get CPR uh, at your place of work. So we require this. We do not have um, frequent CPR classes. So we really need to have you to take care of this and have this done. Drug testing is performed here because we want to make sure we're all safe and we're not taking care of our patients impaired. This is done randomly. The computer chooses students and you are request different times. You may be requested to go and have a, a random drug screen done. The policy is in our student nurse's handbook. Communication is through Moodle on your Moodle page and also through your LSUA email. Your instructors will not be communicating with you using your personal email addresses like Gmail, Yahoo, only your LSUA email. So it's important that you grow accustomed to using your LSUA.edu email address. Um, course assignments and things of that nature your instructor will tell you is posted in Moodle or they will give you a handout but most of our handouts information course schedules you will find that on your Moodle page and by email from your instructor the syllabus is something that you must follow it will talk about use of cell phones your attendance, how your grades are calculated, um, the course objectives, many times your course schedule will be here, your um, expectations from the course, your topical outline will be there. You'll be required to uh, take a little orientation quiz stating that you have read the syllabus, you understand it, and you agree to follow the policies. This will be on your Moodle page. Your instructor will direct you to it. It's imperative that we know what is in this course syllabus. This is what your instructor will be following to hold you accountable for meeting all of the course outcomes. So this ends the second part of your orientation. Again, you can listen to this over and over again if you have any questions. And also, ask your instructor. They are a wealth of information. Oftentimes we want to ask each other, but oftentimes each other has a different understanding than what was given by the instructor. So always ask your instructor if you have a question. So continue to have a wonderful course.